Now, I want to show you some stunning video that's just into CNN. A sea lion surrounded by tourists at a wharf in Vancouver, British Columbia. And watch what happens to one little girl as she sits on the edge of the dock. Oh my God! Oh my God! Now you see a man, possibly a family member, according to witnesses, jumping into the water to save that girl right after the sea lion pulls her by the dress and drags her into the water. Thankfully, we're hearing nobody was hurt. I want to bring in Bob Baziak. He is the general manager of the site where this happened at Steveston Harbor Authority, where the incident again took place. Bob, thanks for being with us. In your opinion, why did this happen? Well, it's what happens when you feed wild animals. It appears that these uh, tourists, I don't have any information on who they were, but they appear to be tourists. And they were feeding the wildlife, per se. And for years, we have had signs. We have been in the local papers going, don't do this. It's not a good idea. And it appears that the uh, California sea lion, who I believe are in their migratory cycle off of Steveston Jetty right now on the rocks, a couple of the bulls or whatever, they come in and they're looking for handouts. And when you hand it to them, that's Unfortunately, what can happen, and first and foremost, we're just glad that it appears the little girl wasn't hurt. Absolutely. We see, as we watch the video and continue to play it for our viewers, uh, the, the person who's with her is able to get her quickly out of the water. But have you ever seen such aggressive action by sea lions in this area? No, I have never witnessed anything like that in all my years working at that harbor, which is 27 years. But I can tell you that it's come close, and that is from people that disregard signs that think it's cute to come and feed a 1,200-pound bull seal. And it's, um, it, it, it's not surprising to me. And so with the media coverage on this, I'm thinking, what a better way to get it through people's heads. Don't feed wildlife. It's just not a good idea. What surprised me when I watched the video, as per many people that have watched it, is the thing there, the bull takes a snip at the little girl, and then they proceed to let her sit on the bull rail. So that is kind of not wise, in my, my opinion. Uh, bull, bull seals don't read signs, and uh, it's not marine world. It's a public right. fish sales boat where the public comes to buy their products. So to go down there and feed them is, to me, just asinine. Do you, you think that the sea lion's the... behavior is a reflection of play, or is is it more aggressive? Hunger. It's hunger. Hunger. It's uh, the, the, the aggressive. I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a uh, sea lion expert, but in this case, that's what they're doing. They're coming and they're looking for handouts from the public, or if there's a fisherman that isn't wise enough to throw a byproduct off their boat, they're hungry, and that's that's all there is to it. So Are you planning to take any steps to prevent it from happening again? I'm sorry? Are you planning to take any steps of prevention so it won't happen again? Well, I mean, we can plaster signs and whatever else, but it's the common sense of the public and the people that go down there not to do that. This, this movie is a poster child of what not to do when you're dealing with wild animals, be mm -hmm. them lions or grizzly bears or or cougars or whatever else. So it's, it's um, that's all you can really do. The rest is up to the people that utilize the, the facility, and you can't legislate stupidity, if I may. Bob Aziak, thank you so much for joining us, for giving us a little bit more information as to what may have happened here. Again, grateful that this young girl is okay. She was able to get out quickly and now uh, raising awareness to situations like this. Let's fast forward now. The president 